Welcome to Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the restoration. I'm your host, Stephen Pinecker, and I've got a ton of things I want to talk about because this is another special Tuesday Tangents on a Thursday. Of course, this past Tuesday was the 4th of July. I'm going to get into that because I had an adventurous 4th of July, but I want to announce this month's book giveaway, which is a preparatory redemption reading Alma 12 through 13. And it was uh, sent to me by one of the authors of one of the papers, uh, Bridget Jack Jeffries, who wrote a book called Called and Ordained, A Priesthood of All Believers in Alma 13. And so she makes a very compelling case that the priesthood of all believers is taught in Alma 13, which is a key Protestant doctrine. Um, now, authors, how do you want to get your book set up as a book, as a, as a book giveaway, which in turn gives publicity to your book? Well, what you do is you do what she did, and was she said, well, let me send you a copy for your book giveaway. And I'm like, well, why don't you send me two because I can have one for my collection and one to give away. And she's like, okay, I'll send two. And then later on, she said, oh, I'm going to send you the money. I'm going to send you money. So she sent money to my PayPal account to cover the postage for the winning entry. Uh, so that is so cool. So we're going to talk about that because I, anytime people can help me out financially, it really helps because really um, the channel is kind of a break-even proposition for, for the travel and the, and the expenses that I do for equipment upgrades and stuff like that. And so uh, we're going to talk about that. But before we do that, I want to talk about 4th of July. I actually spent with a, some members of the local ward here. They invited me to come over to their home a few miles down the house road from me for a 4th of July party. So it was packed. There was probably at least 50 people there. Many of them, there were some neighbors and friends, but I think most of them were uh, members of the local uh, Lakewood Ranch ward. And there are a bunch of ton of kids there, of course. And the two missionaries who I've been engaging with on a weekly basis were there as well. So I got to hang out with them and had a really nice time. And that just goes to show that this is more than just a scholarly endeavor. It's also something where I'm engaging on a on even on the ward level, the restoration and integrating it into my daily life. Now, uh, as you can see, I, there's so much I want to talk about, but I, I want to get this out of the way. Um, I have been asked to come back to Sunstone for the second year in a row by Lindsay Hansen Park to be the umpire for the kickball game between the polygamists and the ex-Mormons. Okay? Now, or the fundamentalists and the ex-Mormons, however you want to call it. I wasn't planning on going to Sunstone because, one, I hadn't heard anything, and two, um, I made a trip to Kansas City, Independence, Missouri, uh, in May. And then I went to Rochester, New York in June for the Mormon History Association. And to be honest with you, that costs a lot of money, the airfare, the hotels, and all that. And this time of year, too, especially end of July is when Sunstone is, okay? Uh, I that's, that's like peak tourist season, like with flying. And I did that last year, so you can't get cheap flights. So I decided I wasn't going to go, but... Lindsay, what they want me. And so basically by me being an umpire for the game, that makes me a volunteer for Sunstone. So I don't have to pay uh, to go to the conference, which saves me a lot of money. And honestly, I would like to go to Sunstone because I had such a great time meeting everybody. And I, it was really great. And I really loved Sunstone. I had a really good time. So I thought about it and I asked Rebecca Biblioteca what she thought about it and said, do you think I should do, maybe ask people if they would consider financially uh, supporting this? So what I did was we, of course, in the link, we have my regular PayPal account. And then yesterday I had my producer, Anthony, also open up a Venmo account for the channel. And so for those of you who'd like to, to financially support the channel by being able to help pay for my trip to, this is the thing, it's not only for Sunstone, the United Kingdom, but I'm also going to be presenting at the John Whitmer Historical Association this September, which I would be probably flying into Austin, Texas there. And I'm going to be giving a presentation uh, let me give you some more information about the presentation I'm giving. Uh, I've been asked, uh, Matt Harris, the, the top scholar, Matt Harris, approached Rick Bennett and and me and, and uh, well, post Rick Bennett initially with the idea. And that was, why don't we have podcasters who are, you know, YouTubers and podcasters who've engaged different um, branches of the restoration, and they could talk about their experiences as, as podcasters, um, Deal, you know, talking with different groups of the restoration. So Matt Harris said, I'll chair it. And why don't we get some people on there? And he said, why don't you have Steve Pinecker? And he mentioned Jeff McCullough, but Jeff McCullough, that he won't be able to do it. But we've, I got reached out to David Boyce of 52 Churches in 52 Weeks, and he's agreed to come on. So it's going to be a panel uh, at John Whitmer. 
and it's going to be featuring David Boyce of 52 Churches, 52 Weeks, Rick Ben of Gospel Tangents, and yours truly. So that's the, uh, the reason I'm going out there to John Whitmer is that. Uh, also, I've been asked to speak at the United uh, the Sunstone UK in October. I don't know if I can get my passport in time. I'm told that there's like four or five month delays now, and I haven't gotten it yet. So that one's up in the air. But basically, if you would like to support this, is, uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that supports the channel already. My Patreons and people who give donations on PayPal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also people who buy stuff on our merch store, morebookreviews.com. We appreciate any source of funds. But like I was saying earlier, it's really a tight budget right now because of all the money that I spent on the trips. But I would really, really love if you guys, if you would be interested in helping the channel and, and sending me to Sunstone. One, the anybody who contributes, obviously, let's set up a meetup or something in, in Utah. We could, we could, I can meet up anybody. Well, and also my Patreons and even my Patreons that live in Utah, um, I want to do a meetup. Then we'll do a meetup with the people that help support me if you want to meet up with me or if you just want to say hi to me at Sunstone. That's, that'd be great. I want to meet you. I want to talk to you. And I want to personally thank, thank you for doing this. So if you'd like to support the channel and support, because this is the thing, traveling is so key and meeting people, shaking their hands, looking them right straight in the eye, is so key to doing the networking and building the build, building the channel up and also booking uh, these great guests that we've been able to book. So in the link, in the description, I got some, in the description, I've got some links. So if you'd like to support us, I, I need to raise a couple thousand dollars, to be honest with you, to make this work, it'd be a, a couple thousand dollars. Now, I'm definitely going to John Whitmer. So this will definitely go through, pay for that. But also, it, I really, really would like to get the Sunstone. So either way, it's going to be used for, for, for for the travel for the trips, any excess money will be used. It'll just be reinvested into the channel. Um, so that would be where the funds would be going just to be fully transparent in on that. Um, so let's see here. Uh, oh, I just taped an interview with Dan Vogel earlier today. I'm going to be taping an interview with some more guests this afternoon. So it's kind of a really, really extremely busy day. I also wanted to share with everybody um, some future guests that I have coming. Before I do that, I did want to share. I've shared this on my Facebook page. Um, I start, I'm starting to get people send me stuff in addition to books and gifts, uh, people also make things and they make, well, I guess you call it fan art. I just got this from Deb, Deborah. She's a friend of mine. And she did this, this cross stitch of my MBR logo. And I've showed this on my other channel uh, on other ones as well. This is a metal, a metal bookmark, uh, MBR logo where an evangelical encounters the restoration. And that's the Nauvoo temple in the background there. Um, how cool is that to get stuff like that sent to sent to you? It's really cool. So I want to thank everybody who's people who have sent stuff. And I want to thank my friends for sending me these really cool things. And by the way, I'm talking to the person who does these. We're actually going to see if maybe we can make these available to sell. I also have a second one um, that's where an evangelical encounters restoration and all the voices of the restoration will be heard on more in book reviews. Those are the two that are sent to me. So let's see, those are prototypes. Uh, would that be something you'd be interested in purchasing? Maybe we'll set up something so that you can do that. Um, let's see what else here. Oh, okay. So in the past week, I've interviewed Dan, Daniel McClellan, Devin Jensen, Rose Ram, Craig Hansen, Craig Hansen of Grandpa Reads the Comics, which will be coming out this week. Um, Anthony Miller, uh, Gustavo uh, Hernandez, who has a is a Mexican YouTuber who's uh, kind of doing Mormonism with the Murph, but in Mexico. And he had me on as a guest. And what he's going to do is he's going to have English, uh, Spanish subtitles under there. So we taped this past week. And of course, I taped with Rebecca Biblioteca, my interview with Deborah, Deborah 3D, who uh, in, in, in uh, we're going to give put out an uh, episode next week about it. But on Saturday, July 15th, there's going to be a reading of her play called Mountain Meadows. And uh, I'll be giving some more information on that on my next episode on Tuesday. Uh, so keep an eye out for that um, because there will be tickets available, but also streaming options to watch the play. It's going to be a reading of the play that she did. Um, I'll be uh, I've interviewed Dan Vogel today. I've got Jim Bennett and Jacob Hansen that I'm interviewing today who are going to have a conversation with each other because there have been some there's been some uh, well, kind of a rift between them. And we're going to try to fix that. Um, and of course, I'm going to be interviewing Bridget Jack Jeffries, who sent me the book drawing. Also, Taylor Petrie. Uh, this volume that he uh, that he uh, edited, uh, I'm going to get together a cast, a ca full cast of of uh, scholars that have contributed to this journal. I'm going to hope to get David uh, David Bakavoy on um, and others, Thomas Wayman, hopefully. So I'm going to try to get about a panel of about three or four people together. That with that, Taylor made sure that the uh, University of Utah 
uh, press sent me this book right away so that I could engage it and and get ready to uh, do an interview. So look for all those on the package. There's many, many more, many more. Um, Derek Prince, I've talked to him at, at Mormon History Association, and he's uh, interested in possibly doing something. So I want to play a clip. So last night I called in on Mormon Discussions Live at the very end of the show and uh, talking about Thomas Wayman's translation of the uh, New Testament, the Latter-day translation, and uh, for for uh, for Latter-day Saints. And uh, he played, the, I want to play this clip. Now, he, he clipped this. I just got it on my phone because he doesn't, he has a channel, but he doesn't have it public. But this has already been on <laughs> Mormon discussions. I just thought y'all would get a big kick out of this. So I'm going to play this little clip on my phone, but I'll hold it to the camera and you should be able to hear it just fine. Um, this just happened. I just wanted to share this with my audience. So it's pretty funny. Let me get ready. Show. Sure. By the way, Steve Pinecker has a show. It's a Mormon book reviews. You might want to check that out. Even though I understand that the real brains behind it is Rebecca Biblioteca and the Steve Pinecker. <laughs> it's just a stooge puppet front man. At least that's what Rebecca tells me. <laughs> you heard it here first. Uh, you're always stirring the pot, aren't you? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm just telling the truth. Show. Sure. By the way, so <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny myself. So I hope that turned out good. But yeah, that was RFM. So apparently Rebecca Biblioteca, who I'm planning on interviewing, we're gonna have to talk about that. What are you doing going behind my back saying that you're the brains behind the operation? I'm just some 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 type of cipher. <laughs> Either way, that's good natured stuff from my friends over at Mormon Discussions Incorporated, who do their weekly program, Mormonism Live, typically uh hosted by Bill Real and RFM, of course, Maven is uh, helps produce that episode as well, and she likes to pop in on the conversation now and then as well. So let me see. I got to get a passport, so I don't know if I can get out to the United Kingdom. Now, they are paying for Moroni Jessup's way there. They're having him be a keynote speaker. So I'm like, okay, you've invited me to come on. I haven't really heard anything from you. Are you going to pay my way, or do I need to do a fundraiser for that? I don't know. So people from the Sunstone UK, let me know what's going on. And I want to thank Lindsay Hansen Park of Sunstone and, of course, our, our famous uh, Year of Polygamy podcast that she has. I want to thank her for inviting me to come back this year again as the umpire. Uh, Moroni Lopez Jessup, by the way, I will be interviewing him as well. I thought I had it on my list, but I must have forgotten to. Li maybe I listed his name. I don't know. Again, this is a tangent. It's a Tuesday tangent on a Thursday, which means I'm going to go on tangents, which I'm doing right now. Either way, just remember... If you want to support, I need to raise about $2,000 to cover my expenses for my two trips, okay? That'll give me more than enough money to cover my airfare and also uh, accommodations. Sometimes I'm able to stay at places for free. I've already got actually a good a good rate for a place in Texas, so that's already taken care of. That's only going to be like 50 bucks a night because I'm sh room sharing with some people. Um, so we're doing an Airbnb or something like that there. And then, uh, and then I just need to get stuff set up for... Hopefully getting out to Sunstone UK. If not, um, any monies will go towards the channel and also to my trip to Texas as well. But if I can get to, if I can raise $2,000, then I can definitely make it out to um, to Sunstone this year. And I'll link, leave a link in the description for those of you who are interested in attending Sunstone. I've also invited Lindsay Hansen Park to come on my program to talk about it. I haven't heard back from her. She's really busy, so I may not hear back from her. But I just really, hopefully I can see you at Sunstone. And uh, leave me messages if you're planning on going to Sunstone. Let me know if you're going to be there. I actually had somebody already offer to give me a rides while I'm out there. So that will save me expenses on um, having to take uh, an Uber. So I think I've covered everything. I'd like to get out to Sunstone. I'd like to be able to then use my time there to actually tape interviews um, and, 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 and as well while I'm out there. Uh, also set up meetings. I have been invited to go on BYU radio. So maybe this is maybe this trip I can take advantage of that and head out and do something on BYU radio this time. We will see. We will see. It is a very busy season. A lot of people are on vacation, so it doesn't always work out. But either way, I want to thank all of you again for supporting the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate you all immensely. Uh, it's just a real honor and privilege to be over 5,000 subscribers now. We have over half, well over half a million views now on the channel. I would hope that within the next year or by the end of the year, we could reach 10,000 subscribers. 
and a, and a million views. I think that those are attainable numbers as the channel continues to grow quite quickly. And just keep me in your prayers for those of you who believe in God. And if you don't, just think happy thoughts. Either way, I love all of you. And remember, don't forget, this is the most important thing. All the voices of the restoration will be heard here on Mormon Book Reviews. And don't forget those links. If you want to financially, if you've always been wanting a chance to support the channel and you you want to help me out, and this would do, do it in a very tangible way. I've got so many projects going. So if it's possible I can get out to Sunstone, that'd be great because, hey, they need an impartial ref to umpire the game, right? Y'all be well. Talk to you later.